All right, guys. So, been getting a lot of requests about bottom bracket, and not just requests from the subscribers, but a request from me. Because everybody, everybody comes in here and go, hey, Foo, uh, I need a fit PRK bottom bracket. I need a Code Devotion 29 inch bottom bracket. Now, granted, you guys are giving me the, the model of the bike, which is good, but the bottom bracket itself, we don't size it up like that. So, let me give you a rundown. This right here is a very old school frame. I bet some of you guys won't, won't know what this frame is. But if you look at the bottom bracket, look how big this shell is. This is the bottom bracket. It's huge. This is an American bottom bracket. The next one is the more modern frame. Huge. This, <laughs> this is the Denim Cox's BSD grind frame. Look at this bottom bracket. Look at this, guys. Notice, notice a two different size. Mid, American. And basically, what is a mid? It's, it is an American bottom bracket without this cover outside. This is a mid, this is American. If I went and I removed this aluminum shell and just the bearing, it's going to be that size. There's also this bottom bracket. Look at this. You guys notice there's threads inside of this? At first glance, you might go, wait, it's the same size as the mid, but now it's slightly smaller and it's threaded. This is a European bottom bracket. So I think there's one that it's like an English. We don't have any of those, so I'm not gonna talk about. It. But then there's also one that's a Spanish bottom bracket. I don't think any company uses Spanish bottom bracket anymore, but a Spanish bottom bracket is smaller than a mid. So the purpose of that is they want to make a bearing smaller and lighter, but nobody uses it anymore. So now we cover that American, mid, European. This right here is a European bottom bracket. Notice the thread, hence the thread on that bottom bracket. This goes in and it screws in. The mid bottom bracket, it's just the bearing without the thread without any of the casing on it like this or this. This goes into a mid bomb bracket and all that requires of this is grease and a bearing press. The American bomb bracket, the older style of all this, very similar to the mid, except it has the aluminum shell on the outside. Some of them, this is a sealed American. Some of them come with a loose ball American. Again, just pressed in, no thread. This one right here, you guys are gonna go, oh, that's a Euro. Because that's thread. But if you guys look at it, notice, notice how the bearing sits in a different spot. Notice how big that bearing is. Look at this. So, this is the one a lot of people get confused about. This is considered a European or an inboard Euro. This is considered a European outboard. And what is meant by that is that the bearings in a traditional European bottom bracket, the bearing sits inside where the thread is. So when you screw this one on, which I'm not gonna bother because this thing needs to be traced over, but when I'm done, this thing's gonna sit inside the bottom bracket like so. The bearing's gonna sit inside the frame once this thing is screwed all the way in. So it screws in. Don't forget, there is a left and a right side. Here's a little secret for you guys. Don't say I never teach you guys anything. If you notice on both of these bearings, this one has a little line and this one doesn't have a line. Usually with anything that has a little marking, that always means left. I'm gonna jump off the subject right now and show you this. Pedals, see how smooth? Right here, right where the surface is. And look at this, see how the little lines? That means that's left. On the bottom bracket, it's the same. This has the, the little line, this doesn't. So that means the line one is left. But there's some companies, they don't put it right there. They put it on the surface right here. So all you have to do is look for something that has little markings. Here's a profile one. I'm too cheap to open this because if I open it, nobody's gonna wanna buy it. There's that little line. 
Here's the side that doesn't have the line. Smooth. This is the right side, this is the left side. So back to this, go back on, on the topic. So this is the traditional Euro where the bearing sits inside the thread. So when you screw this thing in, the bearing's gonna sit inside the frame. The outboard, the bearing doesn't sit where the thread is. It's gonna sit on the outside. Why do they do that? By doing so, when you put the bearings on the outside, you could put a bigger bearing. A bigger bearing will take a little bit more of a beating than the real skinny traditional bearing. That's the advantage of an outboard. It's stronger. My opinion, it's stronger. Also, if you use an outboard, you eliminate a lot of these spacers because the bearing itself, it's wider. So when it comes out wider, you don't need all the spacing. So the, uh, the SE, all the SE big bikes, the, the Big Ripper and Big Flyer, they all use a Euro. I think the new ones don't, but all the previous ones use a Euro. So when you guys call and you guys go, hey dude, I need a, uh, a bearing for a Big Ripper. It's a Euro. Oh, but is it for a Big Ripper? It's a European. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's an inboard or an outboard. Both of them will work. Now, the other thing is, you gotta also remember is, I, I, should, I shouldn't have jumped ahead of myself. I should have followed this. Is every bottom bracket have a bearing diameter. This one right here is a Euro 19. So whenever you call here and you go, hey, you know, I need, you need a Euro 19. This is a 19 mil spindle. This is a 22 mil. Look at the different size. If you go and take this, it does not fit. So you need a Euro 22. I, I'm out of Euro 22 right now, so I, don't, I can't even show it to you because BMX is just crazy right now. This profile outboard, it is a 22, and look, it'll fit in. The 19 won't, the 19 will rattle around. But Profile does make an outboard 19. So when you guys are looking for it, you guys have to be aware. What crank do you have when you, when you call and ask for a bottom bracket? You go, hey, you know what? I need a Euro. What size? Uh, it's for a beast mode. No. What size, meaning is it 19, is it 22, or is it even a 24? I don't have a 24 mil spindle to show you. So that's what we mean when we say what size. Hey, I have a BMX frame. I need a mid. Got it, I got a mid. What size? Is it a 19 or is it a 22? That's your spindle size, okay? So, you guys got that with the Euro, right? Inboard, outboard. Doesn't matter what frame you have. If it's threaded in the bottom bracket, it is a European bottom bracket now, what kind of bottom bracket bearing do you need? You need inboard or outboard? Is it a 19 or is it a 22? The length of the spindle, it's, it's for a whole nother subject. If we ever get into talking about cranks, I'll talk to you about the length. But for this, the bottom bracket, it doesn't matter. Your spindle could be this short or your spindle could be this long. It doesn't matter. This thing's gonna slide in And you wanna adjust, you can put the spacers. Spacers, too much spacers, take it out. It doesn't matter. The length of this, you got all the spacers to help you. Now that doesn't mean you're gonna put every single spacer on this and just start stacking spacers up. No, the spacers are here for you to tailor it to fit on the bike. Again, if you want to talk, me to talk about that, request it. We'll schedule it and we'll sit there and we'll talk about that. But right now I'm talking to you about bottom bracket. Now, the American, again, any frame, if it has a big shell like this, where there's a BMX bike, most beach cruisers out there, most old school bike and lower end bikes like the Sunday, where's that Sunday? 
Right there. That has an American. This is what you put on it. American, American what? 19? Or American 22? Mid bottom bracket. Pretty much almost every single bike in here, every single frame in here uses a mid. And again, is it going to be a mid 19 or a mid 22? Man, I'm just gonna get roasted because I keep repeating that 1922. So, you guys got that? I hope that helps. So when you guys call in, please, we're here to help you, but work with us. When you ask for something, tell us when we ask for what size crank, is it a 19 or is it 22? We're not talking about the length. You're telling us the length of the, 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 the crank arm, it won't work with the, with the BB. Okay guys, 